Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. I'm Penny Arnold, of course, Penny's Reading Nook, hello. <laughs> and I'm here at the Patch Office in Spencer, West Virginia, and I'm glad you popped in to say hi this morning. Today we have a book that we're going to read. It is called Hair Love. Hmm, it's an interesting book title, isn't it? Let's find more out, find out more about this. This book is called Hair Love. It was written by Matthew A. Cherry, and it was illustrated by Vashti Harrison. Hmm. Oh, look at that cat. I don't think he's wanting his fur brushed, do you? I don't think so. My name is Zuri. And I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curls every which way. Daddy tells me it is beautiful, and that makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In braids with beads, I am a princess. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. Oh, there is nothing my hair can't do. Today, I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It was a big day. And looks like the kitty cat's having a dream of, ooh, a can of tuna sounds delicious, Zuri. <laughs> Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. Because today is special. I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. And see, she has her, her daddy's tablet there. And her cat are looking. Uh-oh, there went the tablet. Crack. Paws off, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth, he asked. Oh, goodness. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuzu. The first style was a big no way. Not happening, Dad. The second one was no better. No, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch, Daddy yelled. He flipped himself with a hairband. I think they're all cute hairstyles myself. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really, I said, hello. Oh, I'll be right back, he promised. She does not look amused, does she? <laughs> now, how's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on, we can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said. We'll figure this out. Then I had a great idea. 
Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. Mm. Watching carefully, there they are watching their video, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it. Puff buns. Pretty, pretty, and so much fun. Rocky approved too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy! You've got to be the prettiest supergirl I have ever seen, she said. And boy, look, Daddy did nail that hairstyle, didn't he? And there's a big sign that says, Welcome home, Mom. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you. We learned from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. My hair is Mommy, Daddy, and me. It's hair love. And there they took a selfie of everybody. The end. And that was such a cute story. I really liked that book, Hair Love. She had some really cute hairstyles in there, didn't she? She did. Well, for our project today, we are going to have a little hair love of our own. So for this project, we're going to need some markers. Yes. We're going to need an old magazine. So ask someone in your family if they happen to have an old magazine that you can use, because we are going to cut, cut some pictures out of that, okay? And we need our glue stick. And then we need a sheet of white paper, okay? Now, once you get all of your supplies ready, then we are ready for our own version of hair love, okay? What we're going to do is we are going to look through our magazine and we are going to find pictures of people. And right there, very first page of the book, we have a person, all right? So we're going to cut that out. Let's tear that out of there. Now, here comes the fun part. When you're cutting out this person, you're only going to cut out the person's face. You are not going to cut out the hair. Leave the hair there, okay? So we want just her face. So scissors up, thumb up, fingers down, go right around the edge. We are just cutting out her face, okay? Now you might ask, uh, Penny, why are we cutting out just her face when the name of the book was Hair Love? Well, that's the fun part. That's what's coming up next. You are going to take, and you're going to make your own Hair Love, okay? See there? You're going to take the pictures from the magazine and you're going to cut just the face and then glue them onto your paper and then you are going to design their own hairstyles, okay? Get creative. Are they going to have a mohawk? Are they going to have this majorly curly hair? Woo! Are they going to have hair that stands up on its end? Okay, so the possibilities will be endless. You're just gonna cut faces from magazines. You see this one, I gave her some red hair. This guy looks like he has a green rectangle on top of his head. I think he looks kinda cool with green hair. And then this one right here, I decided, well, let's just give her some brown hair. It kinda goes straight down, okay? And I had another one. I had this guy, I said, oh, you know what? He looks like he wants blue hair with some long side bangs going. Kind of looks silly, huh? Now, let's take this little woman right there and let's glue her onto the paper. So again, you're just gonna look through the magazines, find pictures of people. 
can be boys, girls, women, men, grandmas, grandpas, teenagers, whatever you can find in your book. Then glue them onto the paper. Okay. Now I've got to decide. Let's see, what kind of hair is she going to have? Hmm. Well, for starters, I think she looks like she might want, huh? I think she might want some orange hair. So let's get out my orange marker. I'm going to look at her and I'm going to think, well, let's see. She looks like she might want some bangs. So we'll put her some bangs down there. All right, but you know what I think she wants? I think she wants some ponytails. Let's give her some ponytails that go off to the side there. Oh, that looks really cool, doesn't it? Looks like that just fits her, doesn't it? Now let's get her some over here on this side. There we go. Ah, oh, perfect. She looks perfect with her orange ponytails, doesn't she? All right, and boys and girls, that's it for that project. All you do is, like I said, get your magazine out, go through the magazine. I'll put my magazine back down here again. Go through there, see if you can find some more faces. Right there was another one. All right there's a little picture. Some may be big, some may be small, and just have a great time with it, boys and girls. All right, there's one. Her arm's up in there. She's kind of covering her face. And like I said, just go wild. Play hairdresser for the morning. And get, um, like I said, get your markers and your scissors, your paper out, and become hairdresser extraordinaire. <laughs> okay, so that didn't take very long at all, did it, boys and girls? Well, I hope you enjoyed that project. I hope you enjoyed the hair love and have some hair love of your own. And I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.